To the economy now and what was a grim month for job creation in Canada. The economy lost 9,400 jobs in June. That sent the unemployment rate up a notch to 7.1 percent. Ontario was hit hardest. It lost nearly 34,000 jobs. The big story is the manufacturing sector is, is really struggling. And manufacturing employment is actually at its lowest level in almost 40 years of record. And this is especially a story in manufacturing heavy Ontario. This jobs update continues a worrying trend. In the last year, Canada has created a grand total of just 72,000 jobs, giving the Bank of Canada one more reason to keep interest rates low. The highest unemployment rates are in Atlantic Canada. Today, the employment minister was in PEI, selling the changes he's made to the temporary foreign workers program. Jason Kenney says he wants to make sure Canadians get the jobs first. But as Ross Lord reports, some provinces say that's just wishful thinking. And we'll get everybody right in here at the camera. The photo ops went smoothly, but sources say behind closed doors there was tension. The provinces want employment minister Jason Kenney to back off on new rules aimed at phasing out temporary foreign workers. We knew that there were going to be changes to the temporary foreign worker. In fact, we, we feel that most likely changes needed to happen. Uh, we feel that potentially some of these changes have gone too far. At some fish plants in the Maritimes, more than 50% of workers are brought in from other countries, with the industry blaming a chronic shortage of local workers. That percentage could soon be almost zero. They've got to bring in more workers. Um, the limits of 30% in the first year, then dropping to 20 and 10, uh, will just make that pretty much impossible to do. But with high unemployment in the Maritimes, Kenny suggests finding locals to do those jobs shouldn't be so difficult, even if they involve long commutes to remote communities and working long shifts for low wages. We have seen a growing number of temporary foreign workers coming into areas where there are large numbers of unemployed Canadians and EI beneficiaries, which doesn't make a lot of sense. The fishing industry disagrees, saying aside from winter months when plants are closed, the pool of available local workers is tiny. Mid-June, which is the middle of our busy season in the spring out of the Gulf of St. Lawrence, we were looking for 600 workers and we had none. Um, you know, so the first question we have isn't that everybody's sleeping at home, but they just don't exist. The Maritime Provinces admit they have limited influence in Ottawa, but for this battle they have a valuable ally from the Conservative government's heartland. At the very least, uh, Minister Kenny listened and uh, uh, we were good with that, but we, you know, we do disagree on, on, a, on a couple factors too. But other than granting limited exemptions to some regions, Kenny says the rules are a done deal. Yeah, that's the policy uh, that has been announced after great consider, uh, uh, consideration by the government. Kenny says a new job matching program is in the works to make it easier for Canadians to find jobs and help wean employers from the temporary workers program. Ross Lord, Global News, Charlottetown.